Now I'll show you the wing that I'm working on here. And what I did was I started like any uh, fabrication, any fiberglass fabrication that I, that I would normally do, same techniques as, that I've used in some of my other videos. And this, I'm already along on this a little bit, but I'll give you a, just a recap where I'm at. This is uh, just quarter inch MDF, the shape of the wing. And I have about, uh, oh, I would say uh, five degrees of dihedral. And this is the top of the wing front, front edge. And the good way of doing this actually is to put in a uh, edge, uh, a, a wooden, uh, basically a line to go by. And I start by just putting it in, filling it in, sometimes with wood or whatever, or cloth. This actually has cloth underneath to cut down on the amount of materials used. And then puttied on the top and graded with, uh, if you've ever used one of these before, just a, uh, they call them a cheese, cheese grater or a grater. <laughs> we always call it a cheese grater. But it's for body putty. And that gives you, you follow the lines that way. And it's easy, even easier to make uh, like a curved area because you can kind of guide it along and use those, the wood edge for a reference. The piece in the middle is really just a divider. I have it screwed down now so you can't really see it, but back in there is the bottom half of the wing. It's going to be a two-sided mold. And these are the tips. And while you can actually see here, it's the same thing. I have the, the bottom piece. It's sandwiched on there, the angle already cut, and before I make the mold, those will be attached to the end. several times with the grater to level it off and shape it. And this is the first time I'm actually going to be sanding it now that I have it pretty much uh, roughed into shape. Normally, I would take the mold off of the mop while the mold is still a little warm so it's flexible. But for this wing, I didn't because I want the mold to be very uh, rigid to hold its shape. So it's, uh, it's a day later now, and of course, it's totally cured in room temperature. So taking it off is going to be more difficult, but I'm not worried about it because this shape is. Uh, there's no undercuts, it's just a big flat, you know, basically a big curved, you know, wing. So it should come right off. I may be able to take this off without even using the wedges. The air alone will probably pop it off. 